Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jackaboy Fan Twenty Eighteen, and happy Fourth of July, everyone! And um, of course, you can see I made my my own um, Godspeed mask. I followed the um, I didn't mis basically follow the exact method, but I did follow the methods of John Hay on YouTube. Uh, he made his own Godspeed helmet by using a skull plastic skull mask. But I didn't have one, and I didn't want to go to the store and um buy one so i just because i wanted to make it real right right now uh so i had so i used help hex for the mouth cover which is right underneath here because it's like a really white clean white and of course you can see my skin a little bit and i know it's not i know it's weird seeing my skin when it's supposed to be all white but i did i didn't want to you know make like a face shell i can wear but uh yeah and of course you can see my the sunglasses for the lenses um of course i hit, used these because they used they gave like a gold type look because of course if you can see in the comic books uh godspeed has a gold look to the mask and of course i use lycra fabric now that's basically spandex fabric now for the lightning be bits i didn't know where to put them so i thought i could put them like right here and um, it didn't work too well, so I moved them up, and I put them like up to here. I mean, they could still, you know, it still looks like they're still oriented to be slanted, and they're like right here, which is about the same thing. I mean, right now mine's touching inside my temple, my temp well, the temple right here, but um, but I tried to do it as best I could to get it right. And I didn't want to take too much time out of like making the entire mask. And yes, of course, you can still see my eyebrows. Now, I didn't want to make like, a face shell, like I said before, because I didn't want to waste too much time. And plus, I didn't know how to even make face shell, so this is basically my improvised mo method. Let me just take this off. It takes a while for me to take it off, since there's pelt packs um, for the mouth place, so that people don't see my mouth, my lips moving. And I'm trying not to disturb any area that has hot glue. And, um, yeah, this is the finished mask, basically finished mask. Um, and of course, um, I have posted this on my Instagram page, Anti-Jason. That's my Instagram, not, yeah, my Insta that's my Instagram username. Uh, you can check that out. You can go on Instagram, you know, put in Anti-Jason. And, um, yeah, my, um, my page will come up. And of course, this is my mask, and also not only that, but I also have my Spider-Man mask that I made a long, like a while ago. And this is actually my favorite mask because one, it has a like double layer lens to it, and I actually like it because in the in the game of the new Spider-Man, of the new Spider-Man game in the PS4 game, it actually looks like there's actually like two layers stacked on top of each other, so it gives it that like moving lens type look. So um, let me put this on. Now I wore this before, um, when I was in a, when I was, um, wait a second, sorry, it's been a while since I've worn this, because I wear this, like, whenever I get bored, and, uh, yeah, as you can see, no, no wrinkle, hold on, I got oriental lenses, you can see, there are no wrinkles, there are small wrinkles on top of my head. But, um, yeah, there are no wrinkles anywhere else, like, not on the sides. And, um, yeah, the lines, I didn't want to do too precise, because I didn't know exactly where to put them, since I was using a flat surface. But, yeah, these lenses are pretty much the best I could ever do. I mean, I did the best I could. I mean, I tried, I tried wrapping them in black lycra fabric, uh, just like John Hay did. But, um, yeah. Um, I tried doing it the best way I could. Pfft, sorry, there's something, in, there's something in my mouth. I don't know what it was. Pfft. And don't say that's what she said. Because that's just weird. But anyway, this is basically my favorite Spider-Man mask. And, um, yeah, I just really like the, de the, tech the detailing I added on the mask. The webbing from that goes from out from the sides. 
and this one isn't as spaced out as it was in the game, but I tried doing it the best way I could. Cause I, you know, in the game it has a webbing going over like to here, to to here, to here, to here, to here, and one here. But I tried doing it the best way I could, and um, yeah. Mm, let's take this off. <sighs> Taking on and off these masks. Taking on the on and off these masks, it's a little difficult because you have to, because depending on what mask you make, like if the 2099 Noir, the 2099 Spider Man, the Noir Spider Man, the Flash, or any mask you make, if you do it like this method, doing like, um, doing it like this, it it does get difficult the more you wear them. Like right here, um, this is actually white uh, lake uh, lacquer fabric. Um, that I got off of uh, Joanne Fabric, that I got at Joanne Fabrics. And I already had the yellow fabric because when I was trying to make my scorpion costume for Halloween, but I wasn't able to. And, um, yeah. And basically the main designing is I just add two lightning strips that go from the cor the bridge of the nose out all the way to the back. And then I reach all the way back down to the back of the neck. And this hot glue. I'm gonna come off of this one. all the small pieces. Sorry, I'm, there's hot glue here because I was trying to do it smooth so that there's no like wrinkles anywhere. But since I don't really have like an industrial type sewing machine, because I asked my grandmother to sew for, for me, um, I tried to do the designing the details as best I could. I actually based it off of my tests. My, hold on, let me try and find it. I tried to base it off of this my um prototype drawing of the godsby mask and of course this is just the emblem i'm gonna be using when i make the costume which i think i'm gonna do the same way as hold on i'll be right back and I'm gonna, i believe i'm gonna do it the same way i did the symbiote black flash costume and the glue's trying to come off of the lens oh i gotta get the glue so i can fix the black flash emblem because I've added two emblems, one for the back, which is for the symbiote, like the Venom emblem, and then on the front, I add the, my black, my reverse flash emblem, which I'm now using for my black flash emblem. This is a two-in-one, basically. But yeah, I am using washable glue, because you know, it's the only glue I got, and I don't have any hot glue at my, ho at my house, because I live in the same property as my grandmother, but... Uh, sometimes my grandmother goes to work, so I won't, and my grandfather tends to go to my neighbor's house, and I guess it's difficult because I have to walk. I have to wait for my grandparents to come back, and then yeah, and this video's already gone eight minutes or so. But anyway, hopefully that stays on. But anyway, I'm gonna try and do the Godspeed mask like this. Like I'm gonna use like a black, like a white, um, um, white undershirt, like a long sleeve undershirt, like this. I got this off of Amazon, I think. I think I got this off of Amazon, but I don't know exactly. But I, um, I think I'm like, yeah, I got this off of Amazon, and I'm gonna try to add like the, like the texturing, like um, the pads, for the shoulders, the chest. I'm, a, I'm actually gonna use pe uh, Pelpex. For the emblem, I don't know why. Oh, I think the reason why is the camera is picking up as a, as a normal is because I'm using it as like a reflected reflected mode. But anyway, um, I'm basically just gonna make the emblem out of Pelpex and cover it in yellow fabric. I'm gonna try and cover it in yellow fabric as best as I could, as I can, best I can, because I'm not really good at folding, at like cutting slits and you know making it into like a whole. Thing. But I'll, if that doesn't work, then I'll just use like regular foam, and um, you know, ask my grand, I'll ask my grandfather to spray paint it gold. But um, yeah, that's my. This is actually my my very first um, spandex, somewhat spandex type costume. This is my symbiote Black Flash costume. You guys can check that out in my Instagram page. Again, my Instagram username is anti Jason. What's thing being in my teeth? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, my Instagram username is anti Jason. You can check it out on Instagram right now. I don't know how to put a link to my 
Instagram yet. If I did videos on my computer, it'd be a lot easier. Like I can just click, drag with my mouse, and then that's just copy and paste onto the description. But yeah, my computer's not working right now because half the keyboard works, but the other half doesn't. But yeah, you guys can check out my Instagram right now. If you want, just pause the video and just, you know, check out my Instagram. I'll put this back. But, um, anyway, basically back to the back to the Godspeed mask. This is actually my favorite speedster mask. I've made the reverse flash mask and flash, original flash mask uh, out of a red and yellow t-shirt. Um, I think I might have it in my drawer, my drawer, because, um, right now my GoPro, my, um, not my GoPro, my, my, um, tripod's right, right there, and, yeah, hold on a second, I'm trying to find it in here, uh, nope, not in there, oh, I found one of my masks, my Spider-Man Homecoming homemade mask, but that's not the one I'm looking for, oh, it might be right here. Yep, in here. Yeah, let's get all the masks that I have. Um, so yeah. These are all my masks. I'm gonna move my, my shirt card back here. But, um, yeah, these are all my masks. This is my Spider-Man Homecoming, the homemade mask. Uh, I use I use different lenses for this because I wanted to make it look like the Red, like the Tony Stark mask and then the homemade ones so I just swapped it out and I added super glue onto these since I, I wanted to keep it like this since it looks cool but since I haven't used this in a while and having having it having to wear like like this it starts to get loose on you and every time you talk the mask starts to like go up and down a lot like right now and the, and the sewing line it starts to get caught when you talk so if I had like a face shell or something that would fit this mask, then it would be a lot easier. But it's still a nice mask. I used a red ski mask off of Amazon. And I basically cut small holes for me to see. And I used white sheer fabric for my for the lens. And that's why I used foam two millimeter craft foam for the main uh lens piece, like the main thing that goes around the white fabric. But yeah, this is I'll be trying not to break the mask because this is old. But uh, this is actually my old. This is old. Um, but I'm still going to keep it because, you know, when I get older, my head will probably get a lot bigger. Not to be mean to myself, but my head might get a lot bigger. And um, it might, my head might fit this a lot more. But uh, but these two are actually my favorite because I used the, the strategy that John Hay used. Um, you can check them out. You can check them out um, right now. Um, just put John Hay in the search bar and he'll bring up like masks, costumes that he's made and he actually made his own Insomniac Spider-Man mask and his own Godspeed helmet but yeah you guys can check that out right now you can just pause the video right now check out his channel it's pretty good but anyway my other masks like my flash mask this is actually my old very old flash mask I'm probably gonna make like another one out of um, spandex fabric like the same one I used for the Godspeed and Spider-Man mask um, I'm going to be basically making another one of these possibly in the future for like cosplaying because this one it's it doesn't really look too good like it like when I wear it like let me put it on it's tough to put it on because it's made out of t-shirt fabric but it looks nice it really does but the one problem is that if you look to the side, there's a whole gap right here where the eyes meet out. It looks like it's just like one like hollow bit like right here. So if I try to push it down, it closes it. But the foam and the card and the foam and the cardboard, not the cardboard. Um, wait, is it their cardboard? Let me just feel. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell anymore. But I I tried using two layers of foam, two millimeter craft foam. To give it that like definition for like the these these is like so make it look like you're unmasking yourself, and I also used a uh, red shirt fabric to make the chin piece because it was too short at first, and after I upgraded it, uh, sorry my eyelash getting caught right here, 
um, so I, so I used a um, t-shirt fabric, and then for the, the lightning bolts on the side, I used cardboard, and I painted it yellow with um, craft paint. But, um, yeah, this is okay. This is an okay mask, but I will... Hold on, sorry. Take this off real quick. But I will be making an upgrade. I will be making an upgrade one sometime in the future. My eye is freaking buggy me. I will be making a uh, new one in the future, but just not right now because I don't have the time. And it's Fourth of July, so um, yeah. Oh, oh, there was cardboard. Look, cardboard right there. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I have to fix that. I'll fix it later. But um, <clears throat> with my other masks, here's my reverse flash mask, my homemade one. This is the crappy one. I. Uh, that I um I showed before and I was, when I showed my revert my uh, Spider Man mask and this one is not good at all and you'll see why when I pull the rest of the mask down like watch I pull it down then pull it up see this part it just flaps around now it looks like the comic book fla uh, reverse flash and you may be asking why it has black lightning instead of the uh, red lightning. It's because I wanted to give it like different coloration since I was gonna put yellow here and I didn't have the yellow fabric at first but um, uh, I decided to just take all of this and just keep it foam so I can give it that red uh, streak type look to it. But um, yeah the chin piece is too long. It, does, it reaches like all the way down to here and if I had like a actual helmet piece then it would be basically it was supposed to be like this like the chin piece is supposed to reach like it right where it is right now but it's crappy it was every time I try and do it like the way the ear bar thun does it in the TV show it just doesn't work so yeah this is crappy I don't like it but I'm gonna keep it anyway because you know maybe my kids in the future might want it you know, who knows. But anyway, there's my reverse flash mask. And my non-homemade mask, my Deadpool mask. I got this off like of like Amazon or something. I don't remember exactly, but it's it's still a really good mask. I only cut the, the only thing problem is that I cut the top part off of it. It got annoying. Actually, not true. I was actually going to use it for like a Spider-Man mask, but then I decided not to just waste a good mask and just, you know, I decided to keep it like this. I'll probably ask my grandmother to fix it sometime. But anyway, this is my Deadpool mask. My my voice is really muffled right now because of the fabric that they used to make this mask. But it's still a really good mask. I mean, you see that nice shine on the black and that nice like fabric type look on the lenses. And the best thing about it is that out of all the masks, this one actually manages to like stay on your face when you're cosplaying. Like if you ever made your own mask like, like this with, with the exact strategy of this, then it's not that big of a problem. But if you use like spandex fabric and it doesn't work, then it just like flops around like with, with this mask. I mean, even though this is like not as good as a mask, it's still good enough to be used if you had a face shell. So if you had a face shell, then it'd be easier to like keep the fa your face structurized and you'll be able to have like the mask be stretched out a lot more and be like sucked in more into your neck like with uh, these like with these two masks anyway so that's the comparison between the Godspeed mask the insomniac mask along with my other masks so that's the so basically that's the comparison between um, my Godspeed mask my Spider-Man mask along uh, between these two masks and my other four masks. Uh, I have other masks that I want to show, but you guys, you guys should check it out in my Insomniac Spider-Man mask uh, review. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this back on, and then after that, um, yeah, that'll be the end, the end of the video. And it's hard to put this on because you have to like I have to get my face around the Pelpex mouth cover. Oh, I could have done that. Yeah. 
That's easy. I could have like took the front, held it out since spandex fabric, and yeah, really nice fit all the way. I don't know, this is trying to come off a bit. I don't know. I can't tell. It's, no, it's fine. But anyways, uh, that is all for the review of my Godspeed mask. I will be working on a new version of my Flash mask. Oh, crap. I'll be working on